Hi everyone, today I'm going to review a SandQ stick a Sierra 2 a Bookshelf speakers. And the one I have is natural Sierra 2 with raw uh, ribbon tweeters and 6 inch mid bass and bass driver. Very nice looking. I kind of like the, you know, a natural color of bamboo. But it reminds me of, uh, you know, my cutting board as well, if I look at it from the side. Just uh, joking aside, uh, you know, overall fit and finish of these speakers are one of the best in this price range. The uh, unique thing about these speakers is it utilize REL ribbon tweeters from uh, RAW Audio from Sabia. And these are not top of the line. These are 70-10 uh, ribbon tweeters. So it's a smaller version. So what I like about these speakers is fit and finish. These are base reflex rear porter speakers. To my eyes, these are beautiful. Other than, you know, grill mounting holes on a front buffer. I'm not a big fan of grills. The cabinet is very solid. Frequency response is very good, in my opinion. Sound is very good. So if you ask me how good, it depends on your taste. These are very transparent. If you're really into listening high frequencies, if you like very good details, then these are the, this is the speaker for you. Sound stage is very good, but I got to be at the, you know, the listening uh, sweet spot. If I get up, it will change. Image will go off the stereo image. So the vertical dispersion is, is not as great as the dome tweeters. The horizontal dispersion is pretty good. Unlike care for high frequency or uniq drivers, which would throw really big, wide uh, sound project into the room that I can be anywhere. I can even, you know, lay down on my couch and I can stay uh, hear the good stereo image. So that's not gonna happen with these ribbons, but. If you sit in a sweet spot, if you listen to slower music, or also these are pretty good with the movies too. So only three things I can point out. What is, is like, has to be at the sweet spot for the best possible stereo imaging. And it must be toe in. And also um, there is like a little gap between the tweeter and bass driver. Because I think tweeter is very quick and fast and very pronounced and everything you know some tracks and some music the bass driver i don't feel like keeping up with the tweeter especially with like faster music that's how i felt so driver integration is very good but it's not like ls50s because the uniq driver array project you sound from one point source and then also they they don't sound great with the um heavy metal or like a lot of rock music that I listen because you know the guitar, guitar riffs and solos uh, sound a little thin but if you sit in a sweet spot if you listen to slower music instrument placement sound stage everything is you know driving with my parasound halos it sound effortless sounds beautiful but like I said, um, musical involvement is a little, it sounds great, but uh, I don't get involved and in drown into the music. If I play uh, Beethoven uh, on a Mozart Symphony 40 on Sierra 2 and LS50s, LS50 will give you bigger sound, fuller skill, and richer tone and timbre. So if I put you know, one side Sierra 2 and one side LS50 speakers, what happened is amazing. If I do that, the LS50s totally overwhelm the uh, Sierra 2s. So what I mean by that is I don't feel like I'm listening to two different speakers. I feel like I'm only listening to LS50 speakers. I think design and, you know, everything is great. I would really love to see these speakers with nrt uh tweeters that i sent accused to also offer in uh you know sierra towers i i think i would really like it if they do that i think it will be a great sounding dynamics all around speakers because this one uh, i'm not 
gonna keep this one uh, Sierra 2 speakers because like I said um, it's good speakers great sounding but it's not that musically you know evolving speakers for my taste of music these are not uh, great all-around speakers that is my opinion on these speakers thank you for watching